Hi, I'm Dr. Kiki Chang. I'm a child psychiatrist and a member of the Scientific Advisory Board for the International Bipolar Foundation. I'm going to be answering questions today from the perspective of a researcher who studies pediatric bipolar disorder as well as treats children and adolescents with early onset bipolar disorder. The question I have today is, how can you reliably diagnose children at such a young age? And by such a young age, people usually mean less than age 12, say age 8, 10, 7, and the like. It's very difficult. The reason is that in later adolescence and early adulthood, you can typically see a longer duration of manic symptom, which is the hallmark of bipolar disorder, so that you meet the seven-day or four-day criteria needed for a full manic or hypomanic episode. The problem is as you get younger, it's more natural to have mood symptoms shift quickly. And so if you have a six-year-old or a seven-year-old, naturally they will have uh, shifting mood symptoms. If these are abnormal moods, high irritability or euphoria, they may also shift quickly before the full duration is met for a manic episode. So it becomes difficult to diagnose, but you have to look overall at the change in mood over a longer period of time. In addition, you have to take into account the developmental stage of the child. If it's normal for them to be grandiose at that age, that should not count as a symptom during the mood state. But if it's not normal at that age, then it should be counted. So with these two things in mind, you can diagnose still based on clinical symptoms bipolar disorder in children, but it is difficult the younger and younger you get. Now remember, there are no biological markers yet to definitively diagnose bipolar disorder in kids, and so you still have to rely on clinical presentation and impairment of functioning.